Oh, hey, Mike. How's it going? I'm excited for this. Really? Yes, because I love the base beer. I love the base beer more than you do. I think you. I think that's true. Like I like the base beer. You love the base beer. I always get a case when I'm up there. Yep. Yeah. Um, so this is Alchemist Sturkwit, but it's bottle conditioned with Brett in the bottle. So um, I am so excited. We reviewed this beer together, and then we reviewed it again with Thomas from Thomas Open. The, the regular one. Th- sorry. Yes. The 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 regular. So this was bottled on April 4, 2019. Um, so it's a Belgian ale brewed with coriander, curacao, orange peels. And then when they brewed this, they held some back, back in 2019, added some Brett yeast, and then let it bottle condition. And then it says, traditionally, this yeast is gently roused into suspension before pouring. Um, so yeah, just let it out on the bottom. Uh, Mike promised he didn't shake this up on the way down the stairs. Let's see if he was lying or not. I was. Uh oh. Fuck. Told you I lied. Yeah, good thing the basement's still not done. I don't have any paper towels down here. <laughs> we go. Up. And we're back. <laughs> yeah. Putting Brett in a bottle, that should have definitely been something we thought of. At least um, Mike, not me, though. I mean, it looks like it's glowing almost. I and the head is so oh, crispy, crispy it, white it looking. Go- like, oh, it, you could just, it's like frothy, looks like fluff. Yeah, it's very like pillowy and rocky. It, it's not even like a level. Yeah. Well, mine is because you're got your hat on now. Yeah, because you don't know how to pour a beer. <laughs> um, but it looks awesome. It just, it just like almost like golden orange. Very compact bubbles too. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah, it, it's glowing. Beautiful. Got a nose. Do it. Oh, oh, there's the bread. That's what I want. Yeah, it, it, it has elements of like um, you you, you get full on bread for sure, but you get like white wine and orange peel almost. Mm-hmm. It's like um. Like a very dry white wine. Mm-hmm. If that's a good way to put it. Just nicely astringent, grape character, but like orange peel and um, the kind of like the, the the wheatness of it is sort of a little bit lost on here, but well, bread is a yeah. powerful, powerful odor. The horse blanket is there. Has this lovely like lemon lime funk with that orange peel mixed in? I mean, that's awesome. It smells really good. Cheers. Cheers. We're not sure where we got this, so if someone watching gave it to us, thank you. How about that mouthfeel? It just evaporates. It's so <laughs> soft, so cloudy, but prickly and like mm. champagne like yeah it's super bubbly but yeah then it just it's almost like like if i didn't have the sensation of swallowing i would think it just it just went away and it just evaporated in my mouth i mean that's gorgeous and it's, the temperature is perfect too yeah the spear is special and the orange comes through it's almost like um uh like the orange rind yeah but um orange oil like essence oh, of orange. yeah 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 i see that orange yeah. not not orange extract but like um, yeah, yeah, like 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 if you got like peppermint oil or lemon oil to like add to things, that's almost mm. what I'm getting there. I mean, dude, it's it's almost like drinking champagne. It the the, the mouth feels the same. The the mm-hmm. it very much that sort of astringent grape character almost. The funkiness of the bread is just awesome. What a beautiful beautiful. This fucking works so well. Ingredient. Every time I I, I, I have a bread beer, I always forget how much I kind of like this flavor. Like, I, I don't I don't think I can do a beer like this all the time. No. But it's really nice to have just like after, yeah. you know, doing a Pilsner, doing a, a wheat beer, doing something else, and then like just getting this. Well, how do you, would you describe that, that gaminess? Horse blanket? Horse blanket. I never, I don't think I've heard that before. I might have, but. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it, it just smells a little like farm animals. <laughs> I think I got it, I, I think I got it from Matt. 
Which I think he was saying. He's been saying it for a while. Oh, I, I see. Think Kyle yeah. started saying it, uh, yeah. but it does. It does almost smell like like like, like farm animals. Just a little bit, no. you know. And then the way it like kind of finishes on your palate, like I, I just kind of let it go go across my side palate. I mean, it gives that like the orange lemon lime zest, and then as it like kind of finishes off, it just gives it this like le- nice pithiness. Yeah, and honestly, I sort of get the zero grains a little bit more than I get on the nose. Like I, I am getting like like um, that like so, sort of soft wheat character, you know. This is magnificent. Beautiful. I don't know if we've had one yet, but this may make the list for this year. Yeah, I, I would say it's uh, early, early. Early contender. contender. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, really, it's world class. Yeah, I, I and I, I don't know if they're if they're gonna make another batch of this or they're still gonna. I haven't actually seen them post about jerk weight either in a while. But no. When does that usually come out? Whenever they feel like making it. I don't think it's seasonal. Yeah, that's a good point. But yeah. Because they did a, they did a batch in January once, you know. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, this is never a bad time for a nope a whip beer. Oh man, this is classy. This is something you have with 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 uh, like a uh, chicken masala or something, you Ooh, know. Yeah, and here we are drinking it by ourselves, not sharing with anyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. Imagine you have like chicken masala with like. You know, the mushrooms and the, the, that wine sauce and all that. Yeah. Or with this. This could be, or even using this in some, some type of sauce. Maybe. Or how about this with some salmon? Oh, perfect with salmon. How, wait, wait, wait. Where do you get the salmon part from here? You don't even eat seafood. How would you know? I made it up. <laughs> <laughs> Got me good. That's right. I did. I think I, I think actually it would go very well with like with with with, with some salmon. I think it would be good with so probably a flaky fish too, like something like like um the squ- like, like a scrod, a cod, yeah. haddock, whatever. Yep. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. This is fantastic. It's awesome. This is world class. Absolutely, mm-hmm. I love it. Down in the comments, if you had Alchemists Sturkwit, their Belgian Double Wit bottle condition with Brett, you, you I would I would have thought that they would have given it a different name to kind of make it a little bit different, but. Yeah, but at least no one's wondering where yeah. the, where it came from. Cool bottle art too. Real nice little orange. Classy as always from the Alchemist. Um, if you don't know who the Alchemist is, they're out of Vermont. I don't think we even said that. <laughs> oh, I mean, they're, Heady, world, they're world famous. So. Heady Topper. <laughs> there we go. Um, but yeah, down in the comments, have you had this beer? What do you think of it? What do you think of regular Circuit? Um, do you know when they're going to rebrew it again? That would be great. And what do you think about Focal Banger? No one asked. Yeah, no one did ask. I think so next time to ask someone asks how how's the heady topper, don't answer. Oh, I like banger better. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Just when I thought that 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 this that this would have been one review to not go off the rails, it does. Nope. And I wouldn't have it any other way. That's right. Nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, those are your things. Like, comment, subscribe to those notification bells, you're gonna find we post new videos. And I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And, and this, this is Nerdsense. Nerd